in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. This is a public service announcement. Have you picked up your Cubano merch? Look at the You Sexy Motherfucker t-shirt. That's right, this is the Cubano You Sexy Motherfucker t-shirt. As you can see, nice and wrinkled with a little bit of armpit sweat because this is how Cubano does it. Have you not picked up your Sexy Motherfucker t-shirt? Well, you need to go to the link below and buy my motherfucking t-shirt. Do you not want to walk around with a shirt that says Sexy Motherfucker on it? I mean, I do because I am it. So I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm the sexiest motherfucker because I'm wearing Sexy Motherfucker by Cubano. I have a deceiving name on a fragrance today that I would like to discuss. So let's roll my motherfucking music and find out what I'm talking about. Listen, morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 3 a Now, this fragrance is a clone, and it's a clone of Killian's Vodka on the Rocks. My problem with Killian Vodka on the Rocks is that it's not vodka. I don't get a vodka note. Yeah, I get a little bit of an alcohol essence, but I don't get a vodka on the rocks. That shit don't smell like Stoli. It don't smell like Svetka. It don't smell like Georgie vodka that comes in a plastic bottle because the shit will burn your throat once it goes down and give you a smile ulcer and have your stomach pumped when they got to pump charcoal in your stomach at 2.30 in the morning and the doctor tells you you're fucking asshole for leaving that party and then you still got the condom on your dick. That's not what I'm talking about. And Vodka on the Rocks, although it's a very enjoyable fragrance, it's kind of slightly unwearable sometimes. For me, it just comes off pungent. Now, when Dua said they were making a version of it, I was like, ah, I gotta check it out and see what's up to see how close it comes. And the Vodka on the Rock clone is called Bottoms Up by Dua. Obviously, they're in their new bottle, so you already know what time it is. Now, cool part is, the closeness of it is about 95%, and 95% in this particular case is good for me. The reason why is because, again, Vodka on the Rocks for me sometimes came off a little pungent. This one doesn't smell exactly like Vodka on the Rocks. It's actually a little bit more wearable. But what I do get off of this one more than I did on that one is more of a heavy rhubarb note, which I just literally started experimenting and smelling. And rhubarb is definitely pungent, and it has this kind of retro -y kind of bar scene vibe. Don't know why, but it just comes to me like that. So this has a really nice rhubarb and ambroxan vibe to it. Ambroxan is probably what gives it the more fucking wearable shit, because ambroxan is pretty much pussy in a fucking bottle. Because all the fire shit got ambroxan sprayed everywhere, and that's what be getting people like, oh my god, what are you wearing? Let me smell your neck. Uh, and I fucks with it. I'm not opposed to it, but I can't get it because I'm married. Fuck! Bottoms up also is kind of misleading because it doesn't smell like a fucking alcohol. It really doesn't smell like an alcohol, neither does Killian Vodka on the Rock. They're named after shit they don't fucking smell like. If I'ma buy a fragrance that smells like a bar, I wanna smell like a motherfucking bar. This don't smell like a bar. It's very nice, it has an appealing quality to mass people, ambroxan.com. Rhubarb is very dope. You gotta test rhubarb out and see how it flows off your skin. Is this one of my favorites from Dua? No, but it is solid. I just wish it was a little boozier. If you're gonna name it Vodka on the Rocks, I want to smell like the drunk Puerto Rican dude picking up quarters and dirty cigarette butts from the floor and re-smoking them. That's just the vibe that I wanted. Don't judge me for that. Or judge me. It's fine. If you're a fan of Killian's Vodka on the Rocks but want to get away from that little pungent vibe, test this shit out. Let me know what y'all motherfuckers think. Is this a ball sprayer? I'm gonna give it a good half a ball spray. Because I just don't like being deceived. But it is good, and I'm kind of fucking with that rhubarb shit right now. I don't know, that that's probably what's got me a little bit open because of this whole rhubarb vibe. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these halfly sprayed non-alcoholic nuts. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's your boy, Smooches. <laughs> For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.